Ripple XRP fans, I've got horrible news for you this morning as the SEC comes completely unhinged and now is attacking Ripple's stablecoin launch. Yes, the most recent court proceedings have unveiled that the SEC will be targeting Ripple stablecoin launch in the future because it's an unregistered security. I seriously cannot believe this, but when I woke up this morning, yep, I read the news, the SEC completely unchained rabid dog action. Regilios' vomit, puke, spew, wretch, Genzer, dude, exactly. Now, this was yesterday. That was yesterday when I said, hey, look, Gary did an interview saying how he's going to go after crypto even more. Dude, Gary and the SEC backed it up even further, and I've got the court documents to prove it. Bitcoin sitting at 62113. The heat map's got a lot of red today. ETH under three at 2993. BNB close to touching 600, by the way. We touched 20,000 yesterday. Thank you to all the subscribers. XRP sitting at 51.9. My legs are on fucking fire from all the miles I've been running. XLM melting faces at 10.7. Look, let's just get into the Ripple nastiness. Ripple's legal battles heat up as the SEC objects to a stable coin launch. Now, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> didn't PayPal launch a stable coin? Um, didn't Circle launch USDC, which is a stable coin? Holy crap, does the SEC have a hard on for Ripple? And it's getting worse. <clears throat> so for all you crypto bros and gals out there, that are thinking, oh, we're going to get a settlement. You are so fucking wrong. Is Ripple's upcoming stablecoin in jeopardy? You bet your butt it is. The SEC's document claims Ripple's main operation has been selling unregistered XRP since 2013. It also highlights Ripple's plan to launch a new crypto asset. This is what they said in the document. Ripple's primary business continues to be unregistered sales of XRP. That's a big problem because basically what they're saying is, look, Ripple's not listening to us. We've suggested a bunch of stuff and they're still being naughty. It also plans to issue a new unregistered crypto asset. You're like, Klaus, that doesn't sound like that bad. All right, first, let's get to what Stuart Alderati said and then let's get to the court document and read more because the SEC just said, guess what, girlfriend? We're going to tax you again. We trust the court will approach the remedies phase fairly. And just when you think the SEC can't sink any lower, if you're a financial regular outside the U.S. and you've done hard work of establishing comprehensive crypto licensing frameworks, know that the SEC has no respect for you, thinks you are handing out the equivalent of phishing licenses. Ready to see what the SEC said? Because guess what? They're not just coming after Ripple for XRP. They want to go for the jugular and kill stablecoins. This is from the court document. Let me zoom this bad boy in. As always, any article you see in this video, along with all my other ones, will be linked where everyone in the description below. Listen to this. Now, mind you, this is in the remedies phase, right? So we're talking about what's the punishment for Ripple's primary sales, right? Unregistered securities. Basically, what they're saying is, look, we don't want you to sell XRP anymore. We also don't want you to sell anything else because we're going to go after you if you do. Here is what the SEC said. Nor can there be any doubt that Ripple's ongoing business places it in a position where violations could be anticipated. We're talking about more violations because we're already in a violation, right? So they're talking about even more. SEC versus Kavanaugh. Ripple's primary business continues to be, as it has been since 2013, unregistered sales of XRP. It also plans to issue a new unregistered crypto asset and the court already found that ripples odl institutional sales up to 2020 violate the law ripple tellingly does not dispute that all of its post 2020 sales are unregistered odl sales or that it has made over x from these activities since the case was filed under the law even if ripple had not committed a single violation since 2020 Another violation could still be anticipated. Injunctive relief is not barred by a defendant's claim of intent to violate the law. Guess what they're talking about? When he says violation could still be anticipated, saying, guess what? You launched that stable coin. We're going to tax your fucking ass into oblivion. The SEC is completely rabid at this point. No one is reining them in. 
and there ain't no way they're going to settle. Now, XRP price action, look, had a little bit of pump action close to 57 cents. That's not a bad thing, but pulled back quite a bit, pulled back about 10 cents since. In fact, when the redacted version of this came out, we saw some market softness regarding XRP. The good news here, you'll have more time to stack if you like playing the long action. The bad news, the SEC isn't going to stop. And they're like, you know what? You want to launch that stable coin? Well, we're going to be here to pound you from behind. Ah, uh, happy hump day, I guess. Wednesday, for those of you not in the know. Dude, this is what I woke up to this morning. Now, there are a few of you out there in the comments and viewers that are like, bro, you're negative. Bro, you're always, oh, bro, Nick. What do you want me to say about this? The SEC is essentially saying, you're still violating the law. We're going to go after you because the majority of your business is you selling XRP. We're also going to go after you if you plan on launching that stable coin. Dude, the SEC is not stopping. And you know what's the scary part? The scary part is if we don't have a big change in election results this year, the SEC will continue its attack on crypto. Now, what's even worse than this was the SEC did an interview, specifically Gary Gensler did an interview yesterday where he was so pompous and arrogant and saying time and time again that he's the cop on the beat and he's going to regulate crypto because the majority of it is in violation. Well, guess what, everyone? Ripple hasn't even launched their stablecoin and the SEC in court, in documents that you could verify down below in the description is saying, you want to launch that stablecoin? We're going to tax your ass into oblivion. So go ahead and launch it, girlfriend, because when we're done with you, there ain't going to be shit left. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below because the SEC is just making a mess out of crypto. And in fact, the heat map when we looked at it was all red. Why? Because the SEC is ramping up its attacks on crypto. Now, if you want to see that interview with Gary Gensler, I'm warning you. I'm warning you. If you're queasy, you got a soft stomach, you might want to throw up, you might want to Ralph Hurley, you might want to take a little bit of pink stuff, the Pepto. That video is right here. Check it out, right by the Shatna. Now, what am I doing the rest of the day? Heat acclimation training. I've got a longer run to do today. We're ramping up the miles to big kid miles this week because I've got a race in like four weeks, everyone. Yeah, I've got an ultra in four weeks that I just threw on my calendar because I'm a moron. I'll catch you later because I got to run. Maybe I'll run into Gary Gensler.